Welcome back. At the beginning, I will use the Microsoft Excel to explain histogram equalization before using MATLAB to perform histogram equalization to the image. Here is a 8-bit image. It's a low resolution 8-bit image. And at the bottom is the pixel representation of the same image. So you see the corner here is here. So it has got 52 pixel intensity. So the highest pixel intensity would be 255. So the low would be zero. So this is a low resolution pixel. At the center, this is, this is a high resolution pixel and the pixel value is 144 and 155. So these two pixel is here. Now this pixel intensity has been put in a form of table with the pixel count. So the pixel value 52, there are only one pixel of 52. 55 pixel intensity happens in this table three times. So there is three. 58 happen in this table two times. So the pixel count is two. Same goes for 63. Same goes for 62, which is this bit. It happened in here only once. So 62 is one. So this table contain the pixel value and subsequent pixel count. This pixel value and pixel count has been put in the form of graph. Before I'm putting the graph, I would go to the Microsoft Excel calculator I developed for this course. So this is the Microsoft Excel calculator I used to calculate histogram equalization. So basically here you see the 52, 55, 58, this number came from this file. So I just put uh, from low to high resolution and organized them with subsequent pixel count. So the 52 happened one pixel count. So the pixel count is here. Same goes for 55, which is here. It happened three times and ha it happened three times here. Then I put uh, this number in the Excel index. Then I use next column. Well, before I move, I made the total sum of the number here. Now, next column, this number is divided by the sum of the whole number. And this, this number is the, this number divided by sum of the whole number, which is 2979. Same goes for the third one as well. So basically C6, which is this row, is divided by this row. So we got this number. So this is the formula PQ divided by SPQ. So PQ is this number and SPQ is that sum of the all PQ number which is 2979. Now at next column we did the cumulative distribution function. Cumulative distribution function is that the function where a number is the sum of that number also the previous number. So the first one, there is no previous number. There is no previous number, so there is no sum. So this, this number, this number and this number is same. The second one goes, if we just click it, so this, is, this number is the sum of these two number. Same goes for this number, is the sum of this number. Same goes for this number, sum of this four number. Also this number is the sum of this number, this previous number. So you use the cumulative distribution function for histogram equalization. Then the, this number has been multiplied with seven. Seven is the highest bit count. So we multiplied it with seven. This number multiplied by seven here. Now at the next column, the rounding happened. This decimal number has been rounded to the nearest whole number. If it is more than 0 0.5, it becomes 1. Same goes for 2 as well. If it is more than 1.5, it becomes 2. If it is less than 1.5, it becomes 1. So the rounding happened and the formula used is this formula in Microsoft Excel. Now, subsequent rounding happened here. This number 
is the histogram equalization value the final figure so previously we got this histogram bit count now we got this new histogram bit count now to visualize in the form of graph these blue lines represent our histogram bit count before the equalization and the red one which is more even represent the histogram pre-equalization so as you can see the blue one is very randomized nature but the orange one which is after the histogram equalization the bit count in a systematic manner the resultant image before this image and this is the equalized image so the histogram equalization increase the contrast increase the contrast of the subsequent of the neighboring pixel so you can see here the contrast there is even contrast in the pixel values but in the blue lines the pixel contrast is random which is the result of this image and after the histogram equalization we found this image now i will jump to the matlab program to visualize this thing in matlab the original image and its histogram now once i finish this thing i'm going to plot i'm going to run the code and uh, okay i need to do some modification basically subplot 427 now this is the image found by the code so basically as you can see this is the same image this is the same image with different pixel intensity and the histogram is shown on right hand side now the histogram image enhancement will be carried out so a equal i'm read this time i'm reading a different image to enhance this image i first open this image so that image name is dark2.png semicolon converting to histogram so b equal histic a this code this histic a will convert the variable a which is the main image it will enhance it will carry on the histogram equalization and it will enhance the image quality now for showing the image side by side image pair a comma b method is montage this montage shows image side by side without overlapping so montage the next line i want to show both the image histogram not the original image but the histogram of the image the graph side by side as well so subplot one row two column column number one is the first histogram I am hist A is the first image without the equalization now again subplot the second histogram so subplot one row two column this time the image the, the histogram position is two in the one row two column matrix of the image figure now I'm hist the equalized histogram which is C which is B sixty four now if we run the code now here we go we can see the image quality has been improved 
just for better understanding I do some marking so before image enhancement procedure outcome we see the image quality has been improved after the histogram equalization now the next video if viewers if you like this video please like comment subscribe and share and don't forget to click the bell button that will keep the update of my channel thank you